What is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to Tech Karen YouTube channel this is Octavia OS 2.3 official version which we have installed it on a Poco X3 running the latest Android version 11 and this one is compatible with Poco X3 NFC variant and Poco X3 India variant both of the devices it comes with the latest April security patch I'm using for some time and got all the things which I tried this Hold on here and you will be able to see the Android 11 Easter egg. Maybe some of you guys don't know about this feature. This is a feature available in this Octavio OS which seems to be really good. And yes, as I previously told you, it is compatible with the Poco X3 India variant and Poco X3 NFC variant, both of the devices. You simply need to hold on this Android 11 option here and you will be able to see this kind of Easter egg. You don't need to tab again and again on the Android 11 version. So it seems to be a very good feature which you only get in the Octavio OS. I don't think so you get in other other kind of custom rooms. I haven't tried it so but I don't think so you get there. By default as expected you got the Octavio OS wallpaper and if you talk about the default launcher in vanilla variant if you are using Octavio OS version which has the vanilla variant doesn't include the Google apps it comes with this Octavio OS launcher where it comes with some extra customizations icon pack hidden apps and some extra features which were expected we also have the hidden apps option so if you want to hide apps you don't need to install separately any kind of app for this which seems to be working here no issues here and there this is a very interesting feature which you get in the default launcher talking about some other things for example the quick set panel I have some I have some customizations available in the quick settings panel which I customized from the settings you can also customize them by going into this edit option we have many extra tiles options available for example heads up gaming mode ambient display and some other tiles we also include the FPS info tile which is a very major thing and some of the users use this mostly and they were looking for it and let me just check out if it is working or not and yes as you can see it's just working fine FPS info tile is there which is just working perfectly fine there might be no issues with this also and as you can see i am using 90 hertz and 90 hertz refresh rate is just working perfectly fine so almost everything has no issues you can give it a try if you are looking for it we also can choose this option which is a very hidden kind of feature in this octavi os you simply need to type you simply need to hold on the ring tile will be able to open the volume panel let me show you just simply go here hold here and you will be able to open this volume panel from here which is also kind of a hidden feature but the tile is just working perfectly fine there are no issues in tile but this is a very interesting feature which you get in the octavi os default camera app of course expectedly it comes with a snapdragon camera normal kind of camera app which i personally don't use and i don't think so most of you guys use this normal camera app pre-installed but i think so most of the users use gcam and this is a gcam which i'm using right now on my device and i didn't got any kind of issues in gcam honestly gcam has no issues you can simply go to the settings let me show you that which gcam version i'm using right now on my device if i talk about the features it comes with many features talking about the 4k ultra high resolution rated video you can record up to 60 fps but if your device supports my device doesn't support that so i am not able to use this Nikita Gcam version 1.0, Gcam 8.1 which I am using right now on my device. So Gcam has no issues, everything else is just working perfectly fine. This one is one of the great Gcams which I have ever used, stable Gcam because it has all the interesting features too, that's good. One of the interesting features and one of the major things concern is actually safety and status as most of the guys want banking apps to work on their devices and with this you can use those because it has the safeness status success status profile is true everything is true which means the safeness status is passing if you're still having issue with safeness status api error which is right now just going here you can check out my video on that i have a solution for that already available and you need to use the magisk hide option to pass the safeness status only if you use magisk if you don't use magisk your device will be certified and you will not need to use any kind of magisk hide and you'll be able to use the banking apps that's a very good interesting thing i haven't installed any module to pass a safeness status actually but talking about the play product certification which also matters a lot 
device is certified and as i previously mentioned you don't need to use magisk if you want to certify your device or if you want to use banking apps because by default device is certified but if you install magisk then you need to hide the magisk but everything else is just working perfect no issues here and there banking apps should perfectly work perfectly work fine safeness status is passing device is certified default launcher is good everything i've already shown you till now is actually good Moving on to the settings and you can see hello current and this is a very interesting feature which you get here but let me show you a bug which I got till now and this is maybe for all of the supported devices for example if I write the name like tech current go back and relaunch the settings app on my device once this is how it is looking like which is actually bug and it's just not working fine if you set the name to more than seven characters according to the developer if you write the letters more than seven then you will see this kind of option so which means the character limit is actually seven but my name will only consist of five letters k-a-r-a-n so let me just turn off this once click on ok go back and relaunch settings once again and yes it's just fine now and here we have this animation which was not added in the previous builds and this animation looks actually damn cool and yes it is quite good it's quite smooth including that we have this kind of line present there just simply turn on and turn off settings simply relaunch settings once and you will see the line is changing every time which seems to be kind of really different thing and unique thing which you only get in the octavi os so this is why one of those reasons if you should definitely use octavi os on your device if you are redmi if you are a poco x3 user sorry if you are a poco x3 user this is how your battery backup seems to be three hours and three minutes of screen on time from 70 percent actually it was at 69 percent basically if i'm not wrong and with that to 46 percent and still with 90 hertz the battery backup seems to be very very interesting one because google apps are not pre-installed and yes this matters a lot display settings of course this kind of header you get here it also comes with these kind of options but yes this is not actually pre-installed in a custom room i have tried some custom icon packs and if you don't know i made a video on this status bar icon pack related mode so make sure to check out those videos also to check out if you want to apply these icon packs on your device it includes 10 sets of icon pack but other options notch bar color were already present there clock style and yes it also includes a new clock style for example this octavi clock style is present there including some other clock styles and at last we also have the octavi digital clock if you simply choose this click on apply and you will be able to check out new options click on apply go back and let me see in the lock screen this is how your clock is looking at the lock screen Screen. and yes it comes with octavius clock right now with some new features are already added in version 2.3 in the 2.2 the version were there but now in 2.3 these versions are all this in this version these options are also present this looks actually quite good everything else seems to be good here this kind of analog clock is present there which was just working perfectly fine in my previous case and it's it also depends upon the wallpaper you use on your device i'm using a default wallpaper actually it doesn't include any kind of extra wallpaper is only one wallpaper is present there i will recommend the developers to add some interesting wallpapers because that matters a lot it also includes all the basic features and yes face lock fingerprint app lock everything seems to be good and working I've, I've chosen the fingerprint, I've chosen the face lock, both of the things I'm using at the same time and including that it also includes the app locker, app locker is just working perfectly fine. You don't need to use any kind of third party app to use the app locker on your device which matters a lot and this actually seems to be decent enough. It's It has all those features which I've already shown you till now. It's time to move on to the Octavi Lab where we have some interesting and huge kind of customizations. Okay, just open the Octavi Lab here. If you open this first time, you will see this welcome option every time. Whenever you relaunch and open the Octavi Lab on your device like this, you will see this welcome option. This looks quite good and yes, it's available in all the Octavi OS versions. So it has all those basic features customizations themes everything you already know about that first of all setting style includes a default and cartoony which is kind of different one and here as you can see the clock is changed there too which was not changed the previous time but okay 
these are the settings icons which we are talking about and this is how these icons are looking like let me just turn on the dark mode once and see how these are looking in the dark mode and if there are some changes there or not simply move on and enable the dark theme on your device actually the dark theme seems to be different one and unique one and these icons are in lighting style so that it looks actually quite good these are the options you get here let me show you which i think i i got and bug here simply go and choose setting styles to cartoon in now as you can see the system here keeps stopping this is the bug which i got if you turn on the dark mode once and first time if you choose the setting style you will see the system ui keep stopping but it's not a major bug it's just only have it just only happens for the one time so okay if i go and check out if i change this option right now once again for example if i move on to these settings right now moving on to this octavi lab okay these are the icons you are getting in this dark mode let me just turn off the dark mode once and see if i am still getting that bug or not so simply move on to the octavi lab once again like this move on to your octavi theming stuff and here simply need to go to the setting style and choose default and yes no errors there always it will just restart your system ui but the system ui four stop was a little bit of thing but you only get that first time not every time once again g visual mode is present there too if you don't know what is that you simply you can simply customize the rounded corner status bar height etc with that option quick settings expectedly customizations are present there but includes a new thing which is quick quick settings clock style i've chosen the center clock this is how it is looking like and you can use this it looks actually quite good it also includes the left one which is the by default in octavi us sometimes i use that but it doesn't look that great but now we have the pill clock which actually looks quite good we've enabled this one this is how this pill clock is looking like we have the weather and this clock date everything is there it looks actually quite good everything seems to be good enough in this octavius latest build you should definitely try out this build on your device if you are looking to install a custom room on your device quick settings etc good these are the animations you get here whenever you switch between other menus includes the status bar lock screen everything related customizations lock screen weather related customizations are also present there you can customize weather related settings according to you whichever thing you want to choose on your device power menu volume button everything has some little bit of customizations octavi lab also includes some customizations status bar icons every icon is present there you can enable or disable whichever icon you want on your device whichever icon you don't want on your device clock and date traffic indicators everything is present there notification also includes my favorite feature which is called less boring heads up that is actually present there notification headers everything seems to be good and working perfectly fine let me show you one more thing which i got here which is a bug in my device actually wo wifi as you can see the volti icon is present there and actually only volti is working it's not just about the icon i tried to use other icons i tried to use wo wifi turning on turning off wo wifi is just not working in my case i'm using airtel wo wifi here maybe in my case it is having issue but yes this is a bug which i got till now no major bugs but it's actually good and you can use this room on your daily device include some insane features a definitely a must try room for your device this is all from today's video link for all of the things in the description i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video goodbye have a nice day